How's it going, YouTube? Happy Memorial Day to everyone. Uh, I want to thank those who are uh, serving or who have served. Uh, you know, I just can't appreciate your sacrifice enough. Um, you know, thank you very much, Stilo 999, Air Force Shields, uh, Lucas Imbedin, uh, you know, the friends that I know that are serving or have served. Um, but like I said, I just can't thank you enough. Uh, hopefully, uh, you have all, uh, you know, thank your, uh, your parents or your family, you know, those who have served. Um, got a great a uh, lot of stuff here. Got a bunch of trades to show. Um, also, uh, I have uh, noticed that I have hit over 300 uh, subscriptions, which is really really cool. Uh, I will like I would like to have a contest up soon. Um, but to start with, I just got some uh, Nintendo Club points here to just uh, to show out. Uh, I believe it's going to be kind of like first come first serve. So let's go ahead and show these here. That's the first one. Uh, I think these were from Pokemon games for the DS. Actually, I know it's from the DS, and I'm pretty sure they're Pokemon games. I don't know which one. And then I believe this one came from Skyward Sword. So, yeah, just anyone who uh, wants those. I don't collect points, um, so there's just some free points to give out there to anyone who needs them. Uh, a couple other free things I picked up here real quick. Uh, just some DS cases. Um, I was hoping to get some Pokemon ones, to, uh, you know, to uh, complete some of the games I had, but... Uh, I was happy to see that there is a Frozen uh, game for the DS. Um, and uh, with that, one I did want to show specifically is uh, I thought this one actually might be uh, desirable, and that is a Mega Man Zero collection for the DS. Uh, like I said, it's just case and manual. Yeah, the manual is in this. Um, so if anyone has the game and is looking for this, uh, you know, just let me know. I'd love to send this out to you. Just be a gift. Uh, I think I already asked Chris Minogue, and I don't think he needed it, so... But, uh, so those are those. Uh, got some gifts here. First is from uh, my buddy and yours, uh, Gamer Emporium. Uh, Jason just sent me a uh, case and manual to uh, Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, that was really awesome of him. And uh, I've got some stuff to send to him, so I'll get that on this way. Uh, next is a trade with uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Samurai Slacker. Uh, I sent him Pokemon White 2, and uh, I had it was a duplicate for me. And he sent me a great uh, Super Nintendo game here I didn't have, Act Razor. And I believe there is a sequel on the Super Nintendo, but I could be wrong. But just a one I didn't have. It's an Enix game, uh, so I actually look forward to playing this. So thank you very much, Hunter. Uh, next is a trade I did with uh, with DMAC7344. Couldn't remember the numbers. And uh, he, he saw my last video where I had picked up uh, Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance. He happened to have a box, and it's a, uh, it's open, so you can see the wrap off. But uh, anyway, he had the, the the box and manual for it, and uh, and so I sent him. I actually have the game put away right now, but uh, I forget what I sent him. Oh, I'm sorry, I sent him Pokemon White 2. I sent Hunter Samurai Slacker uh, Skyward Sword. So sorry, I got that confused. But anyway, so now it's cool to have this uh, complete in box. Uh, I don't really have too many uh, box games. Uh, but it's really cool to get this, and uh, so thank you very much, Dwayne. Glad we finally got to complete a trade. I know we tried in the past. But, uh, so that's trades with Dwayne. Uh, I also had a, not a trade, but a deal with Brenda, who I've uh, made a handful uh, of trades here in the past. Uh, she uh, purchased one of my uh, Ocarina of Times um, for an undisclosed amount. Uh, but anyway, she threw in a, a, just a disc here, which was really cool. And that was uh, the Capcom Classics Collection for the PS2. Uh, so that was really nice of her. And I think Brenda's on Instagram, uh, and I will have to look her up. I'm not on Instagram yet. Uh, I have a hard enough time just keeping up with the Facebook, but uh, eventually I'll probably make it on there. So if I get uh, her permission to give out her name or something, I'll do that so you guys can see who Brenda is. Uh, I met her, I think, over Facebook, and, uh, you know, she's been watching the video. So thank you very much for our trade, Brenda. Uh, next is a trade with, uh, oh, first I'll do... Uh, Matt Diesel Gaming, uh, he's kind of an upcoming YouTuber. I've made a couple trades with him in the past, and I believe, I could be wrong, this could be a gift. I've already got some things I'm holding for him, but first is a uh, GameCube extension cable, uh, which is absolutely awesome. I just need one more, and I think Trevor found one for me, Retro Rewinder, or found one, and I asked if I could have it. Um, but uh, I use my Wii as my uh, GameCube, and it's at, you know all the way at the TV, so... 
really awesome to have these. And the Wavebird doesn't really work through the, the glass door that the cabinet that it sits behind. So uh, these do, these work great. So thank you very much. And he threw in an extra here, Robo Warrior for the NES, uh, which I did not have. So thanks again, Matt. Go check out Matt Diesel Gaming. Next is a trade with a, a local friend, Ryan. Um, I don't know. I don't think he does videos anymore, but he has a ton of stuff. And uh, we've hung out a handful of times and made some trades. And uh, first is Resident Evil 4. Uh, and this was actually uh, from a trade from a while back. Uh, those, uh, if you remember those uh, PS2 discs I found, uh, the Mega Man X5, I believe. Uh, there was a Conker's Live and Reloaded for the Xbox. And I think Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, anyway, so he took a couple of those. And, uh, and he had found Resident Evil 4. So that was really nice. And then we did a trade recently here. And uh, first, I had uh, given him a uh, Pokemon uh, case, and he had an extra Heart Gold. So now, very, very, very awesome. Both these games I now have in their cases uh, without the glare. Um, no Poke Walkers for me, but uh, I don't know when I'll actually get to playing them, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, but really, really cool just to have those in the cases. Um, you know, just getting getting pretty close here on my uh, Pokemon DS collection. Uh, and not too far behind with them in the cases and everything. So very, very proud to have that. Um, next, though, with this trade with Ryan, um, like I said, I gave him a handful of stuff. I had a couple of Mario uh, DS games, I think Mario 64 DS uh, and stuff like that. Um, Metal Slug 7, I think he grabbed, and a couple of uh, other games. I can't remember them all right now, but uh, uh, I got Pikmin for the GameCube. Uh, I didn't have this one yet. I have one of them for the Wii, but... Now I have it on the GameCube, and the one I'm most happy about is Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Uh, but this is a really good one. Uh, I haven't played any of them yet, but I have uh, the original one on the 64. I have uh, the one on the Wii, and now I have uh, Thousand Year Door. So eventually I'll get around to playing those, because I've heard they're real good. So those are all the trades I did. Uh, like I said, it was a bunch of trades. I'm thankful to all of you, uh, to Matt Diesel Gaming, to uh, DMAX7344. To uh, Samurai Slacker, to Brenda, Gamer Emporium, thank you very much. Check all those dudes out. Um, these are now the pickups that I had. And uh, as you see, I already had a couple of uh, GameCube games. I've got a couple more. But uh, the first one here is just a PS2 game. It is Tomb Raider Underworld. Uh, I don't know how many Tomb Raider games there are on the PS2, but I have three or four now. So it might be getting close to a, a complete uh, Tomb Raider collection on the PS2. So that one's complete. This cost me $2.00. Uh, at a pawn store, so not, not too, too bad. Uh, next is from uh, the thrift store on base. Um, I found a couple things there. That's where I found all those awesome RPGs for really cheap. Uh, I and mean, then I found a couple of things there. But the uh, first thing I picked up was uh, Wave Race Blue Storm for the GameCube. And as you can see uh, on there, if I can get it close enough, it says 250 And then they actually had a GameCube there. And they've had this GameCube there for uh, months. So, yeah, it's, it's been the whole time that I've seen, I've been going in. So, uh, but they actually had their uh, their whole glass cabinet turned around. Where normally I'd have to ask for uh, somebody to come help me and get the games out. I could uh, now they I could just go in there myself and look at all the games. And so I could actually see the GameCube. I pulled it out and uh, opened the case or opened uh, the system, and uh, Super Mario Sunshine was sitting in there. So that was really cool. Uh, I asked her how much uh, her disc games were. Uh, she told me it was a dollar, and so I was like, perfect. Uh, when she rang it up, she just rang up two fifty for the two of them. So very, very nice of her. So I got Super Mario Sunshine and uh, Wave Race Blue Storm for uh, two fifty. Um, this one is definitely for trade. I have it. Um, so I haven't tested it yet, so I'll make sure it works. But it looks pretty decent, so I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, so Super Mario Sunshine is for trade. Um, next is uh, some other GameCube finds here. First ones is from a pawn store, uh, and these are both for trade. Uh, I paid a dollar fifty each for these, and this was uh, just Metroid Prime, and that's complete. And Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Uh, I was not a huge fan of, of this one. Uh, I'm still looking for the one on the Wii, uh, Echoes of Time, but uh, I checked this one out and was not a huge fan. Uh, but it is a duplicate, so it's for trade. Uh, so both of those are for trade. And then this was at the Salvation Army, uh, where I just picked up that Double Dash for a dollar. 
uh, the other week or a week, week or two ago and uh, picked up Super Smash Brothers Melee for a dollar. So very happy about that. It is also complete. And so sorry, Brenda. <laughs> I sent her the disc only that I found last week and then I find it for, uh, you know, complete here. But uh, these are all for trade, these, uh, these GameCube games. Uh, and probably the Wave Race, if somebody really wanted that, I wouldn't mind parting with that. But it does look fun. I like the one on the 64. Um, so those are all those GameCube games. Lastly, and this is uh, the best, I won't say fine, because I got it at a game store, but uh, definitely my best pickup of the week. And uh, I, uh, this is a game store that I had turned in a bunch of uh, PS2 games and just uh, extra stuff. And I had over $100 of store credit. And uh, I didn't really see anything I wanted. Um, they had uh, Tales of Destiny there, but they wanted 100 for it. And at the time, I didn't want to you know, spend all my credit on it. And so I ended up with uh, the Alundra and uh, the Wild Arms 3. Uh, so I had like 50, uh, $55 left in credit or something. Uh, so I was in there uh, on Sunday and, excuse me, on Saturday. And they had a, uh, another game I, that I had been looking for. And uh, Chris Minogue just picked this up, the Retro Rat. And so I had to have to keep up with him. And it is Mega Man Legends 2. Uh, I had the first one, so it was really, really awesome to find the second one. Uh, and you can see their sticker price here is $99.99, uh, which I would absolutely never pay $100 for a game. However, I uh, ran home, found a bunch of other uh, duplicates and stuff, came back to the store, and it was like I had a, uh, a Skyward Sword, I think, or excuse me, I had a, yeah, I had a Skyward Sword, a uh, Double Dash, uh, Mario Kart, the Wii, uh, and something else. But anyway, he gave me an $50 in credit, 50 something like that, 55, 60, I forget. Anyway, so I ran home and got some more, you know, trade-in stuff uh, to bring this game out. Uh, so it's really awesome. It is complete. The case is a little broke. It's got a crack down here. Uh, and the dude said he would drop off a couple bucks, but it wasn't a big deal because I can just change that top part of the jewel case. But the game is complete. If I can put this stupid thing back together without wasting too much of your time. Anyway, it is complete. There's the disc, the manual, and whatever insert there. So really awesome. I can't wait to play it. I know uh, Chris Minogue has been playing it and getting his butt kicked, so I can't laugh at him until I try the game. So really happy about that. And then with it, since I had like 2 or $3 uh, just left over in my credit and I didn't really feel like storing it, uh, I just went ahead and picked up a 64 game I didn't have, and that's Mike Piazza's Strike Zone. Uh, I felt like this was somewhat of an uncommon game. I thought I remember hearing that. Could be wrong, but they had it for I think two ninety nine. So I just slid it in there and you know and ate up the rest of my uh, store credit. So uh, that is all my pickups. Again, I want to say thanks to uh, to all my trades uh, with uh, Samurai Slacker, Dmax seventy three forty four, uh, to Gamer Emporium, Brenda, to uh, my buddy Ryan. Uh, I want to say thanks to all my viewers and uh, friends here for uh, getting me to three hundred subscribers. It's really awesome. Uh, and again, I want to say thanks to uh, to our military, to all of our servicemen and women, uh, you know, overseas, at home. Uh, it's a uh, just a great sacrifice to serve the country, and uh, I am definitely greatly appreciated for it. So, thank you very much. Oh yeah, and uh, for those who are uh, interested, I just finished Dragon Quest VI uh, Realms of uh, Rev Revelations on uh, the DS. Uh, it was an awesome game. Uh, the Dragon Quest Dragon Warrior series is pretty good anyway, but uh, this was a great one. Uh, I would definitely put it up there with uh, Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King. Uh, and uh, I've also been playing Majora's Mask, and I'm getting pretty close. I'm uh, heading towards the Stone Temple. Uh, I just went through the well and did all that crap. And I'm um, in Icana Castle to finally learn uh, the Elegy of Emptiness. Uh, I am trying to 100% the game. Uh, I believe I need 12 more heart pieces. Uh, and that is not including the four that are on the moon. So technically I need 16, uh, but four of them are on the moon. And then I still need uh, the heart container. 
uh, after beating uh, the wet twin rover, or whatever the two worm thing's called in the stone temple. But uh, I've got all the masks except for the giant's mask, which is in the stone temple. Uh, I've got all the quiver upgrades, the bomb upgrades, and uh, so really, like I said, uh, just heart pieces pretty much. Uh, I know one of them I got to save up uh, the five thousand dollars at the bank, and from there I'm not really sure. Uh, I've done a bunch of stuff like uh, the the beavers for the second time to get that heart piece, uh, the island jumping game after you uh, beat uh, the water temple, uh, the swamp shooting game after you beat the swamp temple. So uh, I'll have to really uh, dig in and uh, I don't want to look it up yet, but uh, I've got both of my sisters have played the game, so I'll probably uh, you know confirm with them, but. Uh, Again, they're close, so uh, that's what I've been uh, working on. So, thanks again.